yeah, up here. Do you know what don't sound like very long? I just want to hear it up all the time. going to be this this chest strap okay. comes across okay. clicks in okay. like so okay. and since you're going next I want you to go ahead and get it all the way strapped so that way you all have to do is click it in so let's tighten this first okay. Okay. so now these are now between your legs green on green so just the green ones okay. yep just like that this comes up okay. and they should be like this not upside down. Like this, okay. and they click in right here. There's. That's how you tighten them. Okay. Up underneath, make sure. Right there, good. And then you tighten just like that. Excess. Excess. Go right here. tendency to slide off just because it's it's got less friction. Got it. Okay. okay. So the harness is an inertial reel. If you wanted to ever lock it, lock it down here by your left thigh. Got it. Aft is lock. So pull forward, lean forward. Okay. See how it's locked? Yep. And then that's Aft the inertial reel. But, but watch. See how it clicked that inertial reel click? Yep. So the bottom line is we typically go with it unlocked so that way if you have a rapid deceleration like you end up where it take off or of course landing, yep. it should it should land. Okay. So that's the five point harness. If okay. if we need to get out of the airplane, whether it's so first we'll be on the ground. So if we get on the on the ground, I'm gonna just open the canopy quickly. Uh, either normally, the other one is you're gonna open the pull that to you would pull this, but we're not gonna do it. We're gonna pull that to release the canopy. Okay. The final one if we had to get out would be you've got a breaker right here. See I can come out, you got this. Yeah, I got it. You, you do pull it you, you pull that pin out. Yeah. And that gives you access to the breaker, you break the canopy open. Okay. At which point you would always, if you're gonna get out of the airplane, whether it's on the ground or in the air, yes. you pull the red tab. I, I recommend everything with your right hand with this this scenario. Okay. So right hand pull across, go and do it. Okay. Yep. That opens it up. So okay. if we have to get out, the only time we're gonna do that is if the plane is on fire or completely out of control. Yeah, and the shoe goes with me. And the shoe goes with you. Yeah. You never get rid of the green. Okay. So it would be bailout, bailout, bailout. Okay. If we lost intercom, we can't talk to each other normally. What you're gonna see is I'm gonna hit the canopy really loud as hard as I can, like three times. Okay. The canopy is gonna go at that point after that. Yeah. As soon as the canopy's gone, do what you just did with the harness and then try to just get yourself clear, clear the aircraft. If you look back and you get out, you can see there's it's a small tail, so very little, very little chance of hitting it in the air. Once you're outside of the airplane, it's looked down and always visually verified. So right hand again, we're doing the right hand egress. Come down, grab the riser, work your way down to the D-ring, and then don't actually do this, but to this D-ring, grab it, verify, pull it down towards your right waist, and that, that deploys the, the parachute. If the pair, when the parachute deploys, just verify that it's good. And then if you can, there are going to be some risers. You might be able to control it. If not, that's fine. The main thing is when you come down to land, don't look down. Look straight into the horizon in the distance. Got it. And put your kind of feet kind of together, put your feet together, cocked a little bit, like move your hips a little bit. And so when you touch down, it's, it, you basically absorb the energy with your body. 
And that's called the parachute landing form. Okay. So there's the harness, that's the parachute. Look at these guys, look at these guys, look at these. Speed brakes underneath, yeah. but you don't really have to worry about that to yeah. fly the plane in an emergency. Okay. Gear handle goes up and down mechanically with mine, so I'll primarily do that. If for a reason I'm incapacitated and I need to, or you need to land the airplane, think of 160 and slower is for everything. Okay. 160 is slower. 160, below 160 for all the gear flaps, everything. It's okay. 140 for the last notch of flaps, but 160 for the stuff back here you don't worry about the circuit breakers but you're going to do the PIC transition though, right you're going to do yes. the full check right. yeah okay yeah, so sure. yeah so we'll talk to more of the start stuff but um, mostly just the throttle here you got the circuit breakers you got some trim for the rudder aileron servo it'll be the same on the in the front seat just a little uh, couple extra switches now going around you got indications for the flight controls on the left top left side and operator for the speed brake so what I normally do is I thumb it just to hear it if I push it forward and I don't hear it, feel any or hear anything, speed brakes in. That's how we verify it. Flaps, three positions, up, take off, landing. That's it. Trim, it's got little, the nose basically goes in that position. And it's electric, so um, that's why it's going down. The nose is down right now. Okay. And you got trim right here as well. So two trims, flaps, speed brakes. Yeah, and my trim is, my trim is where? Right here? Yep, so coolie hat, up down, okay. up down elevator. It's moving the entire stab. Okay. Left and right, aileron trim. That rudder trim that I took off is right here as well. So it does have three axis trim. So you use that quite a bit? Uh, this plane's pretty straight. I don't use a terrible trim. I use elevator a lot, not, not aileron necessarily. It's, you'll notice when we fly, when I give you the controls, very nimble airplane. It's got boosted ailerons, hydraulic boosted ailerons, so very nimble. Okay. G3X, do you have any experience with that? Uh, some previously. Okay, G3X touch, very straightforward. Left side like attitude indicator, right side's gonna be the map. Okay. You got some knobs down here. I'll talk you through some stuff when we're flying, but it's pretty straightforward. Attitude on the left, moving map on the right. Uh, we're most likely gonna be mostly gonna be operating to the south of the airport. Got it. Engine instruments on the right side of your panel right there by your right knee. Yeah. Dude, I can't I'm sorry, I just can't believe this they're flying upside yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I love this shit. Right side, yep. uh, more electrical stuff okay. that you don't have to necessarily worry about for the backseat stuff. Okay. That's an enunciator panel. That's a six-act just in case. So since I'm on that, I don't expect that to be the case, but I always, I'd rather have it, not 